Hi everyone. So I came across this article the other day and I thought it was worth a quick video. We all know Tesla for their electric cars, trucks and lorries, for the solar panels, solar roofs and for the battery storage devices such as the Powerwall and the Megapacks. Now it seems that Tesla are looking to get in the UK energy market as well and become a supplier. In this video I'll discuss what Tesla are planning and why I think it could be a great thing for the UK energy market. So stay tuned. We all know how Tesla are capable of ripping up the rulebook and creatively destructing any markets that they enter. Now it seems they want to do the same with the British energy market as well. The news broke after Tesla published a job advert for a head of operations at Tesla Electric Retail Energy. The job advert states, As part of Tesla's mission to accelerate the transition to sustainable energy, we have launched Tesla Electric. Tesla Electric is Tesla's retail electricity offering, currently available to Tesla product owners in selected markets glo globally, such as Texas. We believe strongly that simplifying and improving the customer's experience around retail electricity and virtual power plants is necessary to drive significant adoption amongst consumers. Delivering a seamless, simple customer experience will ensure that small-scale residential flexibility can be fully utilised to support the transition of the entire grid to 100% renewables. It continues, In this role, you will have operational responsibility for our retail electricity activities in the UK. This includes responsibility for managing our market entry and building out the team, systems and processes needed to start operations. After start of commercial activities, you will have ultimate responsibility for day-to-day -day operations. We seek candidates with demonstrated experience in delivering retail energy programs and with a healthy scepticism of the status quo. What this means is that Tesla are looking to become a UK electricity provider in much the same way that Octopus Energy do, uh, British Gas do and EDF to name some. Other electricity providers are available and I couldn't agree more with them when they say that there's a need to simplify the market around retail electricity to drive adoption of renewables. I hadn't heard of the Tesla Texas offering until I read this job advert so I dug a little deeper into it to find out what it was about. There's an electric article that I've linked in the description of this video below that discusses how Tesla use what they call virtual power plants to actively and automatically buy and sell electricity with help from Tesla Powerwall owners, which provided protection against high energy prices in the Texas area. It also states that some customers that were signed up to the plan were able to charge their Teslas for free overnight for a year, and apparently some customers were making up to $150 a day during a recent heatwave by selling electricity back to the grid at some points for up to as much as $5 per kilowatt hour. Wow. To put that in comparison, I'm currently on the Octopus Flux tariff and sell electricity back at around about 34 pence per kilowatt hour and I think that's a pretty decent rate. So what is a virtual power plant? Wikipedia describes it as a cloud-based distributed power plant that aggregates the capacities of heterogeneous distributed energy resources for the purposes of enhancing power generation, trading or selling power on the electricity market and demand side options for load reduction. Well, when I read this, it was full of far too many long words for me, and it really didn't help me understand it one bit. RMI provide a much easier to understand description, stating that a virtual power plant is a collection of small-scale energy resources that aggregated together and coordinated with grid operations can provide the same kind of reliability and economic value to the grid as traditional gas power plants. So I guess an easy way to think of this is Tesla having some control over all the installed power walls in the UK, or certainly at least for those that are signed up to this scheme. And when the grid demand is high, Tesla can pull some power from the power walls to the grid when it's required and then pay the customer for that energy. When demand is low, they can then fill the batteries up with cheap electricity and then use that during the day as it's needed. A bit like the plans for vehicle to grid or V2G, where in theory electric cars can sell their battery power back to the grid and then charge when the demand on the grid is less. At least that's my understanding from the research that I've done. If you think I've missed anything or misinterpreted some comments, please let me know in the comments below. I've heard the term prosumer used a lot in the energy market recently. A nice way to sum this up, I think, is a consumer consumes electricity from the grid, whereas a prosumer both creates electricity themselves and also buys electricity from the grid. Those of us with solar panels and home batteries are prime examples of prosumers, and I can see more tariffs such as the Tesla tariff, all of the likes of Octopus Flux being available in the future. It really is a win-win for both the energy provider and the prosumer. The energy provider can potentially not need to power up an expensive gas or coal power plant as a backup, and the prosumer gets paid for the electricity that they generate and give back to the grid with very little inconvenience to them. I think this plan also helps Tesla to realise their vision of achieving 100% renewable energy power globally by being able to balance the grid better, meaning there's less reliance on fossil fuels overall. I think it'll be interesting to see how far they can go with this. 
The obvious candidate is for those customers with Powerwalls as a starting point. Tesla have roughly 10 to 20,000 Powerwalls now installed in the UK and they could use these as a virtual power plant. But will they also be able to include other manufacturers of home batteries as well? And potentially somehow incorporate those customers with just solar panels and no home battery? I guess if the technology was there and they're really living by the vision statement, then they would do this. But I suspect that might take away from their business revenue created by the power walls. And no doubt configuring the market to suit multiple battery supplies is much more complex than just allowing it for power walls. I guess the other consideration is whether they'll be able to extend this to Tesla vehicles as well at some point in the future and offer V2G functionality. Tesla stated earlier this year that they expect to have V2G available within the next two years in the vehicles. At the time they stated that it wasn't really a priority for them to implement but were they just waiting for some initiative like this to launch maybe? Now there are some different laws in the UK to what there is in Texas, so this might prevent them from doing certain things, but let's see what happens anyway. Obviously the details at this stage are pretty limited and I'm by no means an expert on this stuff, and I'm only going by what was stated in the initiative that was carried out in Texas, and with their recent collaboration with Octopus in the UK as well. Octopus previously had a Tesla tariff which uh, worked in a similar way and used power walls as a mini power plant. Although this was pulled in February 2023 and is no longer available. I suspect this might be because of Tesla entering the UK market themselves. Tesla were also apparently approved to become a UK electricity supplier back in 2020. I've mentioned in many of my previous videos that I believe that Octopus are the most innovative energy company currently on the market and I've also created a video about some of their smart tariffs here. The UK energy market feels ripe for transformation and hopefully Tesla can begin to follow in octopuses, octopies, footsteps and hopefully Tesla can introduce some smart tariffs that benefit both prosumers and consumers as well. I think it's great that we're about to see some enhanced competition in this market and hopefully it makes other legacy energy providers step up as well. Other than Octopus, it really feels like most other energy providers just want to take our money and offer bare minimum in terms of services for gas and electricity. And I think it's great that more tariffs like this are beginning to reward those of us with solar panels and home batteries installed. It really feels like this might be the future of a really smart grid. It might also help Tesla to get people tied into their infrastructure as well, in much the same way that Apple and Android do with phones. If they can make it work where there's significant benefit with having a Tesla vehicle or a power wall, then you can really see how this would start to tie people into the Tesla infrastructure. And it could be quite lucrative for them as a package overall. Let's wait and see. As I mentioned earlier, I do believe that Octopus are currently the most innovative energy company on the market. And if you want to know about some of the Octopus tariffs, please check out my other videos. Also, if you wish to sign up to Octopus, there's now a link on the screen where if you sign up to Octopus Energy via this link, you get £50 added into your account, and I also get £50 as well, which helps me to keep improving the quality of these videos. If you found this video useful, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.